What's going on guys? Today we're going to take your old IK9 foamer and turn it in to as good as the new one with the uh, air valve to make it so you don't have to pump, pump the handle 30,000 times. First thing you're going to want to do is grab all the tools that you're going to need for the project. First you're going to have to order a valve and a couple you can buy them in kits or you can buy them all separate but I, I'll put a link in the description to what I use and it came with uh, a pour, the valve tool to screw it in, the valve core and several valves. You'll also need a magnet you don't need it but it's, it does help a lot with uh, uh, making it easier to get the valve to finally come through the hole that you drill and then for the drill you're gonna this this is a hole punch you can get them from Harbor Freight they're really nice for um, starting drill bits so you don't have to so you don't have any walking when you start drilling um, you're gonna need one of these calipers this is gonna measure uh, the inner diameter of the valve and you'll that'll tell you how much you need to to drill now if you use the specific valve uh, that I ordered off of Amazon you'll need drill bits that go up to 31 64th and that was the tightest um, the smallest diameter with the tightest fit so that that worked good for me but yeah so you'll need some various sizes to go up to that so you know just maybe three or four times five times at the most to get it up to the final height or final diameter and you're good to go. Once you get all the tools gathered you're going to want to take all the other pieces off to make it easier for for you to drill and to make it less likely for you to get contaminants inside one of the wand. Now that you got the wand and the pump out of the way uh, you're going to want to pick where you want to put the uh, valve. For me I felt like this would be the best spot right under the release due to the inner wall right here which I really wanted to do it here but it, uh, until I investigated it there's inner liners and walls uh, throughout this whole neck right here so you're not going to be able to do it at least fairly easily uh, doing it this way so the simplest way is to just do it on the side so you get your punch Pick where you want it. Go up a size. Now you're going to use a file, I like to use a round file, and then round it a little bit, just get some of them burrs off. And when you get it how you like it, you're going to wash it out, make sure you get all these little flakes out of there and then you can start reassembling through you're going to try not to lose it set you back over here and we're going to grab that
once you get it going then it's not bad then with the screw or with the hole being so small you're gonna have to get on the ground you're gonna have to pull pretty hard to get it to pop through but once you pop through then she sealed good now that we got it on we're gonna reassemble the rest of the pump and test her out all right we got the pump sprayers back together and uh, we're gonna test her out and set mine up to 55 and we're gonna screw her on See if she seals. Now you could check for leaks using a bubble spray bubbles, but um, I'm not hearing anything. Wiggle it around. Still nothing. So yeah, it's good. See, it's almost, it's almost to the red. So 55, 56 is about the max you can do for these. Once you make sure there's no leaks, just go ahead and tighten that cap up. And now hand pumping is a thing of the past. As long as you got your air compressor around. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.